and here we are again close to a water body. You might have noticed that many of my videos are shot very close to water bodies. In fact, for me a nature experience is not complete without being able to be close to water. I love the energy that we can feel in nature. I love every opportunity to be close to water bodies. The closest I feel is when I'm in a canoe, but it's dangerous as well. Today the story is going to be about a scholar and a boatman. A scholar who decides to travel across a river in a canoe approaches a boatman. The boat set sail and the scholar began to enjoy himself and that put him in a mood to talk. Now being a scholar, of course he was talking about everything he had read about, the flow of the rivers, the movement of the stars, astrology even. And then after a while, after giving his knowledge to the boatman, the scholar asked the boatman, do you know why the sun rises in the east and sets in the west? Mm, uh, I, I'm sorry, I am not aware of these things. The boatman admits, 25% of your life is lost, remarks the scholar. The boatman quietly just carries on rowing the boat. And then after a while, this man starts talking about soil, countries, continents. I'm sure you must have some idea about geography, geology and these subjects. I'm afraid sir, I don't have knowledge of these matters either, says the boatman meekly. Too bad, half of your life you've wasted, my dear man, said the scholar condescendingly. Next he turns to religion and says, I'm sure you've at least read the holy books. The answer was in the negative, of course. No sir, I haven't read any holy book. I'm just a simple boatman. I, I don't read. The scholar looked shocked. What a shame. You've wasted 75% of your life. Clouds began to cover the sky and soon there was a storm. Suddenly the boatman looks up at the scholar and asks him, Oh learned sir, do you know how to swim? He answers, Well, I've read about oceans and aquatic life and all about marine beings. That's not what I'm asking. Do you know how to swim? Well, I've read about all the techniques of swimming, but uh, I, I don't know how to swim. The boatman looks perturbed. My good sir, I have to tell you. The whole of your life is a waste because this canoe has sprung a leak. I can't do anything but I have to jump into the river and save my life. But unfortunately you can't do that. I'm really sorry for you. And saying this, the boatman jumps into the river. The moral that is usually taken out of this story is that one man may be an expert in one thing but that doesn't make him any better than another man who is an expert in another. And there's no reason to be proud of ourselves when we can't even survive without another. We are just a small cog in a huge wheel. A related moral could be that just understanding the holy books is not enough. You have to practice what you have learnt. You have to comprehend the one true religion, the religion called humanity, that acknowledges that I am because we are. I exist because we all do. Let's think of some other morals. One could be that the real learning, the basic education is to know how to survive when faced with the typical life-threatening situations that can arise from our specific circumstances. From looking at the fate of the scholar who had acquired knowledge but no skills to face adversity, we can draw the conclusion that a ship is safe in the harbour 
but that is not what ships are for. The real art of living is not about confining yourself to the books, but about embracing life. Only then can you remain afloat. You can also think up some morals to this story. Put it down as comments. I would love to read your comments. See you again soon. Bye.